1,000 fold arms! Rip. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> so that's what you meant by it's mauling other cr oh, origami oh. creatures. Now know, young master. Be sure to soak your entire body. Whoa, is it working? It still looks like crap. Aha! He's whole again. Perhaps. Uh, perhaps I should res uh, rescind my one-star online review of Shangri Spa. It wasn't me. I didn't crash the castle this time. I just came here to help Dad, but the next thing I knew, I was all cut up into pieces. And what's he doing here? Are we all about to fight? Because I'm always ready. To, um, I'm always ready. Let's go. Her name was Olivia. She lived in Shangri Spa. Just an origami girl with an origami heart, soaking and dreaming of the streamers, keeping us apart. Wait, young master, we have more important things to do than battle Mario for the millionth time. If you want to help your dad, you could help us enter his castle. We require the use of your clown car. Do we need, do we get to fight someone? I haven't fought anyone in over an hour. Let's hurry up and do this. I'm going to make an order. Oh man, this dumb thing's busted. Hmm, so even though you're back in one piece, you're still too creased to fly. You're also wrinkled and filthy. I hate to think what ba Lord Bowser would say if he saw you in such a state. Indeed, it seems flying is still out of the question. Blast! Guys, the wrinkles and the dirt and the creases, just soak it all away in the hot springs, okay? Then you can get all of the stamps and the free prizes. Hmm, that gives me an idea. There are more of these springs around Shangri Spa, right? And each um, has unique reju rejuvenative properties. The answer is clear. You must visit them all, young master. Roll yourself and get on my back. Come, you two. We must find hot springs to address young master's wrinkles, creases, and filth. There will be more soaking, I promise. I keep Olivia away from the hot springs? Yeah, that seems to be the best course of action here. <clears throat> we'll never be able to get her out of the hot springs if we don't move. Uh, or keep her away from them. This is embarrassing. Oh, please, I carry you like this as a baby. Welcome, welcome. I hope you have a you're having a place to stay at uh, Shangri Spa. I joined Bowser's army so I couldn't, uh, so I wouldn't have to get a real job. And yet here you are, working a real job. Um, there's origami people over there. Ah, uh, I was cleaning the inside of that crate. Guess it doesn't need cleaning anymore. So thanks. Yeah, toy that crap up. Legendary items. Do I fight these Goombas? Uh, the heck? Oh, it goes down. Okay. Money! One moment, sir. I need to take a look at your VIP pass. Do I not have one? That's not a VIP pass, sir. So wait, how do I get a VIP pass? That wasn't an option when I did the uh, original thing. You let them chill? Oh, so if you let them chill, then clearly that means I need to go and kill them.
Kill them! I murdered them good! They chillin'? Well, now they chillin' and they dead. I murdered three Goombas for no reason. Well, technically I had a reason. One of those Goombas aggressed me. It aggressed me hard. It jumped off its chair and it chased after me. That was aggressive and I didn't appreciate it. So I took him out. Hammer time. You saw it jump off its, uh, thingy. Really? There's a whole one sitting in there? All full here, scram! Hmm, doesn't look like- it uh, doesn't look that full, especially for a few pieces of flat paper and one origami. Why don't you try to find a little room in the corner, Mario? God dang! I guess he wasn't lying when he said full. Suppose we should learn to listen to people. Jumps too. Huh, it says it only takes two turns. To get them all lined up. I don't believe that though. Yeah, that don't work. I'm not entirely certain what they want here. still have this missing. I'm gonna go ahead and pay a little bit, have the toads do some work for me. I suppose that makes a little bit more sense now. So I was supposed to take the one that was already completed and move it. Did he do? 
Triple hammer attack! I'm so bad at getting the uh, completion on these, the excellent. Um, I need to do more weapons. I need to put on... Let's put the gold hammer here. Here goes nothing. I'm tired of looking like a wrinkly old grandpa. Well, is it working, young master? Bah, I'm flat, fi I'm flat, fine, and ready to toe the line. Quite impressive. You're as flat and, st and sturdy as cardstock. Hmm, I'm soggy and wrinkled, and I couldn't care less. Nothing. We still need to address Young Master's folds, folds and smudges. Folds and smudges, my man. Younger without those wrinkles? Younger? You're a child! Huh. What the heck? Oh, so that's what those do. The more you know. I swear, the Fire Veil Mental looks nothing like the actual Veil Mental. I'm so sick of sleeping. I want to get back to my regular job of raking. You want to buy something for 10,000 coins? All proceeds go to getting a rake back in my hands. I don't know what he wants me to buy. I mean, I guess I have uh, the money I can spare. Yo, if I buy this broom for 10,000 coins, I'm going to be pissed. Okay, no. Sea Tower. That's fine. Whoa, are you rich? Young master, it's not polite to ask. You can't afford it? I'm rich! Rich, I tell you! What the heck? Why is a sniff it there? I'm not shirking, I just, uh, slipped. Yeah, that'll play. Spring of Jungle Mist. So wait, we have to traverse a dungeon to get to the next, uh... Yo, where's the hot spring, though? Well, look at the size of that tree. What kind do you think it is? There's something weird about it. Do you think the hot spring is up there? That would be so cool. Yeah, but kind of tiresome. I don't feel like dealing with it. Oh, all the bridges out. Why are all the bridges broken everywhere? I know something weird is going on with that big tree, but we can't get across to check it out from here. Hmm, do you see that path? Perhaps there's another way to get there. Go back here. Told you. Man, I'm smart. Oh, it's so lush and tropical in here. I expect nothing less from Shangri Spa at this point. They spare no expense for their customers. In any case, I suspect that this route may yet help us reach the other side of that down bridge. 
plus we have to fight a bunch of origami people, so yeah. Oh, looks like we have a choice to make. I think we should go this way. Call it my origami sense. Is that so? Well, I think we should call it this way. Call it comic sense. Call it common sense? Comic sense. Such a bad pun. Keep it rolling. We have another choice to make. Let's see here. Since I was correct last time, and every time, I might add, I assume you will follow me. I know Comic was right last time, and I was wrong, but I have that funny feeling about this path. I didn't realize there was a hole there. I was too busy looking forward. When this is all over, I'm buying a boat. Call it a midlife crisis if you must. Can't believe it. I had such a strong feeling about this path. Nobody got hurt and comments getting a boat. Uh now we have bees. Ah, and those annoying dudes. Do what you gotta do, man. Show us what you got. I thought so. So they moved them over there, but like, what are you supposed to do with it?
Like, you literally moved them all the way over here. Am I supposed to shift them? Nothing changes. Literally nothing changed. Things are still as bad as they were before. Yeah, like, I'm trying to figure out what, what they were going for here. Oh, what? No! do this anymore. I, I just want to quit the fight. Oh, I didn't even kill him. so that I wouldn't have to do that again, but it did it anyway. What? How is it a perfect lineup? Oh. What's wrong? What happened? Another reason why machos are terrifying. I take it that means something happened on your end that uh, was kind of rough. right down a giant hole. A giant gaping hole. I just went right down. Whoop. It's mauling other creatures. Fire piranhas. Hmm, seems to open up here considerably, but I don't see any sign of a hot spring. Is this the end of the path?
I have to fight it because it has that ability that I need. Okay, well he dropped it at least. certain how exactly that was supposed to go so I just put something together uh, well let's see if we can kill them all anyway we'll use items back one will just will be there. Macho coming up. Does it mean I can jump on them now? set it up so that I'm hitting them all anyway, and it didn't. I might actually die in this forest. such a huge mess up. What? I thought that was the last wave. Oh, 
Alright, I'm gonna use an item on these guys. I don't wanna risk not killing them, so we're gonna go ahead and just item them. Good. I say if you miss again, sir, we're fighting. Confuti. by its mauling of the cr oh, origami oh. creatures. Look at... They, they're like... What was that? Is that what we... Uh, is that what was rustling around out here? Wow, I'm so glad I didn't know it was here the whole time. Some kind of hideous corruption of one of Lord Bowser's fiercest and mo most loyal minions. Bowser would love it. I'll order him a few as a surprise. Oh, but er, yes, we must certainly avoid this one. We'll be dashed to a confetti instantly if it bites us. So we can't fight the chain chomp. I like, I like how now that we've seen the chain chomp, there's music here. Uh, I think we ignore that, right? We ignore the paper mache, or the paper macho uh, piranha plant. Yet another fork of the road. These Shangri-La fog toads could really use a groundskeeper to advise them on path management. Oh, we passed this time. What will we do? We go this way. Now, now, young master, we mustn't simply guess. We should listen to Comic, who has been correct every time so far. Well, you're not gonna like this, but I have a strong feeling that we should go this way. Yeah, he's been right the whole time. Lord Bowser always does the opposite of what I say, and you always defeat him. It's not a coincidence. You must follow me. I am vindicated. I mean, let's go. Better be right again. I mean, you've been right every time thus far, so I suppose. Oh, no! You're wrong! You are horribly, horribly wrong. Now it feels like I'm in a Pac-Man game. Chat, it's Pac-Man! <laughs> look at that terrible thing. Actually, I can't even look. It's too scary. So this was the source of the rustling. My goodness, the mount on that thing is indescribable. The thing is out of control and, and sure to attack indiscriminately. But I think we're safe for now. You see? It became, it's become wedged under that branch. Let's continue before it becomes unwedged. <laughs> Yo, I listened to the comic for the first time this whole time and he was wrong. He was wrong. He lied to me. Oh, we made it across the bridge though. So he was technically right, but the chain chop was trying to kill us. Finally, we made it cross. What a relief. Who's ready for a hot spring and, and has two triangles for arms? 
This gal. Oh, but before we move on, you were right about which way we go, um, way to go every time, comic. How did you do? How did you do that? It was amazing. Yeah, what gives? You were cheating with magic, weren't you? Magic, young master. Not at all. I simply rejected the emotional choices you two made in favor of ones made by, made using blood, um, bloodless logic. Yes, my logic-based system, along with timely retreating and tactical cowering, have gotten me far. But, in a way, doesn't that mean I was making the right choice every time? You wouldn't have known which way to go if I hadn't made the wrong choice first. Ha! She's got you there. Wow! What optimism! You clearly made the wrong choice every time. We were just right in calling you out on all your shenanigans. I've, I've seen big trees before, not even all that long ago. This might be the biggest one yet. Yes, yes, it's quite impressive, but what do you make of that other tree? One with water flowing from its base? Wouldn't that be a more logical spot for a hot spring? No way! How are we supposed to get there? It's almost like that they don't want us to get to this hot spring. Well, perhaps you, we could survey the situation more effectively from up high. Ah, but this letter is just out of our reach. I know the job for the sh um, Shangra Spa shopkeeper, or groundskeeper. But you're the groundskeeper. How are we going to reach the ladder, Mr. Groundskeeper? He's not a groundskeeper! Uh. Rock, paper, scissors? Oh. Duh. <laughs> Who ate a huge chunk out of this? I'd do so much confetti on that. I probably don't have much confetti left. Fighting you. Yay, one of them was an HP thingy. A heart. Stamp booth. Collectible treasure number 106. So there's a hidden block over here. Oh crap! I turned around the time. You know what? I probably could have hit it with my hammer. I forgot that it's possible that it was lower level. Time for some flashy iron booties. Step. On his face right now. Yeah, I definitely could have just, uh. I definitely could have just hit him with a hammer and probably have knocked him out. Yo, I almost made back the uh, money that I gave away for that uh, statue. Yes, some more legendary boots. There we go. I like how it gets faster as he's climbing. Well, there's a safe slide up there. What's this way? Haha! -ha. Flashy mushroom. We 
take those. Saving. Uh, was I supposed to do that? Oh, there's a hole down here, so I guess that's okay. Uh, let's save again. Alright, climb again. It's weird seeing a flat piece of paper climb a ladder. from this guy. Hey look, it's comic. My goodness. Finally some recognition for my years of loyal service. The memory of this will help me get through the next decade of thankless toil. So that's what happens when you find a collectible in the likeness of somebody that was already there. saying anything though. He could have used his words. He literally just left me there to die. There we go. It was a good thing I did die though, because it gave me the chance to come back and get this item. I'm still trying to figure out how. Oh, he ate part of the ladder. Hey, that scary thing can climb trees? We're not safe anywhere. If, if this is what it takes to get to the hot spring, I'd say this jungle isn't very welcoming at all. Hey, what's the big idea of running away like that? You could have warned us at least. Er, sorry about that. As I said earlier, timely retreats have been a key to my success. Since we were working together, you have shouted at, and you have sh um, shouted at me much less than my usual coworkers. I will try to do better. Oh, okay. That was easy. Maybe I should be your boss. Back to work, comic. <laughs> I like that. Yo, dude, seriously, just left me. So much Olivia cares for you. How did he get up here? Ow! Ow! He left us again. Both of us left us. Wow, they both left me. Don't eat my butt. I want to know exactly how that chain chop got up that tree. What kind of cheat did it use? I'm sorry, Mario. <laughs> it was so scary that I did. I just did the thing that I told Comic not to do. It's easy to act without thinking when you're scared, isn't it? But no matter, our frizzy dash and Mario's heroic leap seem to have saved the day. And now at long last we're here. Yo, I, now I see what you're talking about. I can't believe she left us. She literally just dipped out without us. Yo, is this what a change up originally was? Oh, hello, welcome. You're standing in the fabulous spring of the jungle mist, known for its incredible cleansing property. Fortunately, right now, it also 
Known for being out of order. We can't find the drain plug. Are you? You can't be. I mean, where do I even start with this? First, are you aware how difficult it's even, <laughs> it even is to reach this place? I resign as groundskeeper. Effective immediately, Mario. Let's find the plug. Take the bath and get out of here. Well, by the looks of this, I imagine the plug is that chain chomp. You want to get off this island? No, we're good. What's right here? Ha ha! Wait, why are you back here? You guys know where the drain plug is? I'm pretty sure it's not back here, but I've got... I just got a feeling about this spot, you know? Meaning, what he's trying to say is, I have, a, I have to slack off back here. Oh, he was right. You're probably wondering why I never looked up, huh? Well, it's easier said than done with a neck like this. Let me tell you. You mean the fact that you don't actually have a neck? Oh, that one was just a coin. Plug it in, plug it in. <laughs> Get it? Oh, thanks for taking care of that. The guy who usually does it requires three weeks notice. Now, you'll just have to wait for the water to fill up. He's raking. All right, the spring of jungle mist is ready for your use. Sorry about it, well, everything. I healed, and I'm healing you in. Double heals. Finally, can't wait to get the smudge off my clown car. You think they offer waxing too? Master, you're spending quite a long time under there. Is everything all right? Ta-da! Hello! Ah, terrific. The spring works as advertised. I was beginning to imagine the horror of returning you to your father in your smudged state. Yeah, you look good. Feeling good. It's all good. <laughs> and did I mention how soft my folds are getting? So soft. <laughs> er, yes. Should we consider getting out of the hot spring at some point? Young Master, your greens are vibrant, your yellows and reds are radiant. Let's get a move on, shall we? Nah, I like this one. I'm gonna take another dip. Young Master, it's been long enough. We must get going. This is the kind of crap that happens when your kids don't listen! <laughs> it's color splash all over again. Yes, yes it is.